Well, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then mm. this scene is priceless. Phillies manual, a uh, manager Charlie Manuel, and the 2008 World Series champions Phillies posing with the World Series trophy, wow. all decked out in tuxedos. A proud moment for the Phillies, for the city, and for manager Charlie Manuel. Yeah, and I say we had a pretty good run of it in 2009, we too. Sure did. You know, these days Charlie Manuel is managing a different kind of victory in his battle to lose and control weight and control his type 2 diabetes as well. And it looks like he's winning in that oh, yeah. department, too. Here to tell us all about it, <laughs> Phillies manager Charlie Manuel. <laughs> Charlie, great to see you again. Good to see you guys. Hey, all right, you know, why don't we just have you stand up for a second? Because it is a dramatic change you've made. <laughs> yeah. And we, we're going to ask you about, about that. But yeah, how much weight have you yeah, lost? Yeah, go ahead. Unbutton I've lost, for me. I've lost, uh, actually, I lost like about 52 pounds. 52 pounds. Are you kidding? And I, was that all after the World Series, or did it start before? No, I, uh, last, uh, last winter, actually, when we won the World Series, and even before that, you know, like I noticed. Uh, you know, like that sometime, you know, like uh, my stomach was way over my belt. <laughs> and a lot of it people, just happens, and, and, right? You know, like, and a lot of people would like, say things to me about it. And uh, so uh, was, it's, it's when we won the World Series and we were celebrating and you know, like, and I had my shirt off and I just had a t-shirt on. Uh, it was, I looked at that and I thought to myself, that's kind of embarrassing. I'm, <laughs> I can be better than that, really. And I, and uh, I saw pictures of myself, and I remember seeing the picture with these two ladies, and, I th and this woman told me, she says, this is a good picture. And I looked at it, and I thought, wow. I mean, and, and I thought, i got to lose some weight. So I think we have a before and after yeah. picture. And, you know, it's funny, because it does, it kind of creeps up on you, whether it's like, you know, just the kind of crazy schedule you keep, and you're just, that. this is the before, this is the before. And then, yeah, that's 52 pounds ago. Look at you. Yeah. Well, well, that is incredible. But, but, but Charlie, you won the World Series with the extra weight, and now you're a thinner, leaner man. Yeah. I, uh, Somebody's going to say, well, it was the weight. You, you know, actually, when I, uh, I did a physical about this time last year, uh, and I got on the scales, you know, like, and I weighed 286 pounds. And uh, you know, like, and I told Melissa, I said I got to lose some weight. And I went, to, and I s started watching what I eat and things sure. like that. And then when I went to spring training, I was still trying to find some way, you know, like would help me. And uh, if you ever been in a clubhouse in baseball, there's food everywhere. Mm. I mean, and th there's hot dogs, uh, sodas. It. I mean, everything. Pretzels. Right? I mean, I mean, Maybe not the most healthy food in, exactly. the, in the world. And so, therefore, you know, like I used to eat, and I used to find myself just eating food, and I'd look at it and throw it down, and two seconds or five minutes later, I'd be eating the same food, and yes. I wouldn't even know I was eating it. I think we're related. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, like, of course, I started gaining a lot of weight. Uh -huh. and, but anyway, you know, like, uh, I was looking for some way to lose weight, and I started watching the Nutrisystem ads, you know, every morning and stuff on TV. Dan Marino? Uh, yeah, Dan Marino and Shula. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and Big Swanee on ESPN and exactly. all these people. So, you know, like I said, that might be for me. So I got on Nutrisystem D. And at that time, you know, like, uh, I got on it and I started, they started sending me some food and I started uh, really keeping up with it. And I watched my diet. And it's easy, it, isn't it? Actually, when I got on it, I thought I thought it was going to be hard. It was very easy. Yeah, because they give you really everything easy. to eat. Exactly. And also, they give you everything to eat, but also when I traveled and everything, I always had the food. I took it with me. And uh, I, when every hotel would go at, I had a microwave oven. All you got to do, if you check into a motel or a hotel, and you go by the front desk and you ask them if they got a microwave oven, and if they got some, they'll send it to your room. It's free. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> especially, and, especially if you're and, Charlie Manuel. Well, it's, whatever. It's free. We're going we're to send it right off, Mr. Manuel. That, that's not a problem. Well, congratulations on yeah. your weight loss. Congratulations, Thanks. too, on last season. What an exciting ride it was to the very end. Yeah, you know, like Forced to Win. Uh, forced to win like two years in a row. If we'd have won the World Series, of course, that that was that to me. I, that was that was I was, you know, I was happy, uh, real mm -hmm. happy that we mm -hmm. got there. But I was also at the end. You know, like uh, I was disappointment. You know, like when we won, I was very, you know, of course, I wanted to win so bad that uh, you know, like it, it, I thought about it ever since then. But. Uh, our, t our team's intact. I love our, I love some of the moves that we've made, especially on our Pitching bench. Pitching move? Yeah. yeah. Wait a okay. minute. You love? I mean, Cliff Lee yeah. is still on people's minds. Cliff Lee did a tremendous job for us. Cliff Lee's one. Uh, he's one of the best pitchers in the game. Here, and, here's Cliff and, being introduced uh, finally. 
as a yeah. Seattle Mariner just the other day. Right. Something after the World Series, nobody in Philadelphia, I guess other than people associated with the team, thought could possibly happen. Right. I talked to Cliff when uh, right after he got traded, mm -hmm. and uh, he was he was he was he was disappointed about. It. He wanted to stay here. He liked everything about us. Yeah. Was there and no he, way to keep to him pitch. and Halliday I, uh, at the same time? You know, a lot of times that's that's the part that. Uh, I'm just like you. I work for someone, and that's the part sometimes that uh, I'm a very selfish guy, really. I, of course, you know, like I want the best pitchers and the best players I possibly can have. Yeah. And if you got, if you keep up with baseball, I always say it's about the players. I mean, it's not about it's uh, the manager has his role and everything like that. Did you have a, a say at do. all in the decision making I, process? I voice my opinion, and I can voice it loud sometimes, but that doesn't mean I always win. <laughs> so and, here's my question: Charlie. Have you replayed? Last year's World Series games. I mean, do you do that, or do you just kind of put it put it behind you, and look forward to the next year? I kind of put it behind me. I, I you know I was there. I saw everything that went on, and I, you know, like and I, uh, uh, you know, like things. Uh, you know, like things didn't go our way. Sure. The Yankees kind of outplayed us, and they were seemed like they were always kind of ahead of us a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and we got in a situation, you know, like in, uh, you know, like where we couldn't come back and beat yeah. them. But you know, we had a big season. They had a great team too. But I told our guys when we lost after we lost that night, I told our guys, I said, I feel like we owe them one. Yeah. Because you know, like I, uh, I know that we could play better. And you're like, I know that we can uh, play with them, and also I know we can beat them. So, so how do you, you know, like our possibilities this year? I like them. I like everything. Like I said, I like our team. I like. Uh, we added some uh, bench players. We we are, are you know like it gives us more uh, a little depth, more more depth, yeah. and more. Uh, we get we you know like we got better. We uh, we can do some more things. You know, Charlie, I gotta ask you because the Phillies fans. I, I know that we feel like we're a member of the team as a Philly fan. I know that 2008 coming home, seeing that. Parade. That had to be overwhelming for you, and that's kind of a mandate. Like we want to do it again. Yeah. We need you to do it again. But you, you know, you have the support of the fans. I think we have some video yeah. of that. Amazing, how many people came out? I think of fans. You know, like when I see this parade, that's probably one of the. That's probably one of the. Uh, Biggest thing I've ever seen in my life, yeah. as far as uh, people, and that's the most people I've ever seen in in a parade. Uh, one year we went to World Series in Cleveland. I want to say '95, and we had uh, we had about uh, 450,000 or 500,000 people downtown in a parade. Mm -hmm. This parade right here was absolutely off the chart. I don't you know, like hopefully, you know, like I'll get to see another one of these. Well, actually, we'd like to reshoot that whole thing maybe yeah. at the end of this year, so we can get slimmer pictures yeah. of you That'd in the good. parade, so you can be proud yeah. to show them to your grandchildren. Charlie Manuel. Fantastic. Thank Good you, luck Charlie. Next year. Yeah, We're so Congratulations. Proud of you. I know I know nutritionism is really proud yeah. of your loss too. Your weight loss, yeah. that is. Yes, yeah. which is a win yeah. for us here in Philadelphia. We're That's back right. with more of the 10 show right after this. <laughs>